So we're going to be making a spring pennant today. And you'll want to download the French document off of the internet, as well as the large banner template, which has been provided for you. And after you've cut it out, you're going to want to take a strip of decorative paper. We use the pastel paper designs from the Heartwarming Vintage Collection by Crafty Secrets, which is available at stampington.com in the shop. And once you have your banner put together with the strip on the top and your paper cut out, you're going to begin layering some scallop punches that will look like this when you're completed. You'll have a large scallop and a small scallop, which has been created from a vintage piece of sheet music and a recycled manila folder. And the clip art came from a copyright-free book of holiday clip art. So go ahead and make sure you're firm on your glue with your strip at the top of your pennant. And then layer your manila paper with your music sheet and your clip art. And once you have that all glued together, it's going to look like this. And you can add some glitter glue, which is also available in the shop at Stampington. And you're going to glue this down to the center with an adhesive that is appropriate for paper. And you're just going to use a little bit because you don't need a lot for this. It's going to look like this when you have it all glued down. And then for a little added embellishment, you're going to take a cupcake paper and flatten it down. And as you do this, just kind of spread it out and then bring it back in on itself and push. And that's going to give you something that resembles petals. And then again with a small white for another layer, which isn't necessary, but it gives it a little more depth to the project. And then you're going to attach this all together with the brads that are created, or excuse me, Creative Imaginations, which are also available in the shop at Stampington. And just remove it from the card. And you can choose either to put a hole in here to start, or you can just push it through. Generally, the brads are sharp enough that they'll go through the paper pretty easily. And then spread that apart. And then just kind of re-manipulate your petals so that it still looks like a flower. And when you're happy with that, you're just going to put a little dot of glue towards the bottom and place that at the bottom of the pennant. And then at the top, where we've put our strip, we're going to use a quarter punch and punch two holes on either side. And this is going to be where your ribbon hangs from. And you can use something like the Vintage Hip Trims from Making Memories, available in the shop. Or you can use Vintage Seam Binding or just regular satin ribbon, whatever you prefer. And you're just going to feed this through each side. And because the hole is a little small, you're going to have to just twist the end of it a little bit and push. You can also use a tapestry needle to go through with this. You just want to be careful because that can sometimes spread the hole a little bit more and your paper could tear. And when you're printing your banner out, it's a good idea to print it out on a decent weight cardstock. That way when you hang it, it won't curl on the edges. Once you have your first piece in, go ahead and repeat that with the second. And then we're going to hang this with a sweet pin that's created by Sweet Bella. It comes on a card that looks like this, also available in the shop at Stampington. And we're going to hang it so that the hole is facing to the left hand side. And we're just going to loop this through and tie it off. And you want to repeat this on the other side as well. And when you do so, you want to make sure that you get your first piece as taut as possible so that it is even when it hangs. So you're going to hold it like this. Let me move these so you can see a little bit better. And then again on this side, same thing. And then to finish, we're going to add a few more bits of ribbon 
and you could also hang some decorative tags on here if you'd like. This is how it will look once you have your pin attached to the ribbon. And just pull it so your bows are up towards the top. And then add a few more strips of spring colored ribbon. And you can do so to the sides and the top, however much you like. This is really up to you and whatever your style is. And then to hang it, you would just do a slip knot. You would go through the pin and pull your two pieces of ribbon and you could hang it from the wall like this, add it to a spring wreath or just enjoy it on a window. And just remember if you're doing this so it's going to be displayed so you see both sides, remember to print your French document on both sides of your cardstock. And that's your spring pennant.